Yovelim Jubilees 42. And in the first year of the third week of the 45th Jubilee, the famine began to come into the land, and the rain refused to be given to the earth, for none whatsoever fell. And the earth grew barren, but in the land of Mitzrayim there was food, for Yosef had gathered the seed of the land in the seven years of plenty, and had preserved it. And the Mitzrayim came to Yosef, that he might give them food. And he opened the storehouses, where was the grain of the first year. And he sold it to the people of the land for gold. And Yaakov heard that there was food in Mitzrayim. And he sent his ten sons, that they should produce food for him in Mitzrayim. But Binyamin he did not send and arrived among those that went there. And Yosef recognized them, but they did not recognize him. And he spoke unto them and questioned them, and he said unto them, Are ye not spies, and have ye not come to explore the approaches of the land? And he put them in ward, and after that he set them free again and detained Shimon alone, and sent off his nine brothers. And he filled their sacks with grain, and he put their gold in their sacks, and they did not know. And he commanded them to bring their younger brother, for they had told him their father was living, and their younger brother. And they went up from the land of Mitzrayim, and they came to the land of Canaan, and they told their father, all that had befallen them, and how the Lord of the country had spoken roughly to them, and had seized Shimon, till they should bring Binyamin. And Yaakov said, Me have ye bereaved of my children. Yosef is not, and Shimon also is not, and ye will take Binyamin away. On me has your wickedness come. And he said, My son will not go down with you, lest perchance he fall sick. For their mother gave birth to two sons, and one has perished. And this one also ye will take from me. If perchance he took a fever on the road, ye would bring down my old age with sorrow unto death. For he saw that their money had been returned to every man in his sack. And for this reason he feared to send them. And the famine increased and became sore in the land of Canaan, and in all lands save in the land of Mitzrayim. For many of the children of the Mitzrayim had stored up their seed for food from the time when they saw Yosef gathering seed together and putting it in storehouses and preserving it for the years of famine. And the people of Mitzrayim fed themselves thereon during the first year of their famine. But when Yashara'el saw that the famine was very sore in the land, and that there was no deliverance, he said unto his sons, Go again, and produce food for us, that we die not. And they said, We shall not go. Unless our youngest brother go with us, we shall not go. And Yashara'el saw that if he did not send him with them, they should all perish by reason of the famine. And Reuven said, Give him into my hand, and if I do not bring him back to you, slay my two sons instead of his soul. And he said unto him, He shall not go with you. And Yahuda came near and said, Send him with me, and if I do not bring him back to you, let me bear the blame before you all the days of my life. And he sent him with them in the second year of this week, on the first day of the month. And they came to the land of Mitzrayim, with all those who went, and they had present, rather, and they had presents in their hands, Stacti and almonds and terebinth nuts and pure honey. 
And they went and stood before Yosef. And he saw Benjamin, his brother, and he knew him and said unto them, Is this your youngest brother? And they said unto him, It is. And he said, Yahuwah, be gracious to you, my son. And he sent him into the, his house, and he brought forth Shimon unto them. And he made a feast for them. And they presented to him the gift which they had brought in their hands. And they ate before him, and he gave them all a portion. But the portion of Benjamin was seven times larger than that of any of theirs. And they ate and drank and arose and remained with their asses. And Yosef devised a plan whereby he might learn their thoughts as to whether thoughts of peace prevailed amongst them. And he said to the steward who was over his house, Fill all their sacks with food and return their money unto them in their vessels and my cup, the silver cup out of which I drink. Put it in the sack of the youngest and send them away.